Now in this video we're going to fix this error that we've got with our um, subform. If I click on this and hold it, you'll see in the bottom corner it comes up control can't be edited. It's bound to auto number field event ID. That's the key to what's going on here. So let's go into, that's the subform that I'm dealing with. Let me close the whole form. Let me go into the design view of the subform. I'm going to go up the top left corner here, make sure that I have got the uh, properties for this subform. Now you'll see that this actually is running a query. The three dots will open the query. It's not a formal query that we've written, but you'll notice that the seat number is coming from table customer event. That's okay because it is not an auto number there. The event ID is coming from table events, which is an auto number. So we have to come and take that from customer event. The event title and date and time, they are only in the event table. They're not in the customer event table. So we've got no choice there and that's fine because it's just looking those up. The customer ID is already from customer event. So that I'm hoping will fix our problem. So we're going to close it and we are going to do you want to save the changes and update the property yes i do okay so let's close the subform let's change yep, store the changes for the subform oh we had problems with our columns as well actually let's anyway just just run it and see if we can see double click now if uh let's just go to um Marilyn, let's see if we can book her into Bruce Springsteen and yeah, no problem. Okay. Now if we want to give her a seat Yeah, we can give her seat number two. In fact, if we want to book her in again, if she wants a second seat Bruce Springsteen and Let's give her seat three. She can have two people there All right. Now this is a little bit messy. What do I need these columns for? So let's just go back, let's close it, let's go back to our subform. Let's then look at our uh, file, I've lost my menu, file, whoa, 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 beg your pardon, home. Let's pin that down, I'm just a little disoriented. We're doing design, so we want to go and have a look at the data sheet view. All right, now I really don't need this column here. So I can just delete it and I can delete this column here. You know, I can have a look and see which is the one with the actual drop down, the combo box, and it's that one there. So let's get rid of this one as well. And let's then say that. So we've got event that could be a little wider. Oh, we've got two. We don't need to have the event title, do we? Let's get rid of that as well. Delete. All right, so we've got the event, date, time, and the seat number. If we wanted to, we could have those seat numbers centered. Might just look a little tidier. And then we can see the drop downs more easily. All right, in fact, we could have those centered as well, couldn't we? All right, just a little layout thing. Why doesn't the date center? Uh, yes, there it is, okay. Right, let's say that. Now let's go to our main form and let's pick Margaret Thatcher. She's got she's not doing anything. Uh, she might want to go to Bob Dylan. She might want seat number. Well, she probably wants the good seat. And maybe she wants to have seat two as well all right so this is working reasonably well what we haven't done is we haven't said oh look somebody else might have seat two so you can't have it um, what we can do with this drop down is make it just choose the the available seats 
we won't do that now we'll leave that for the next video at least this part is working <laughs> 